Hi, and today we're going to do the Sea Lion Campaign in World Conqueror 2. So, we're going to dig right in. So we have 14 days to win. And, uh, yeah, okay, one thing to note, I do have medals. But it shouldn't make too much difference in this campaign, whether you have them or not. It helps, but, you know. Anyway, um, ignore everything he says, blah, blah, blah. So we are kind of fighting a two-front war right now. We have support from him, and then he's going to, or Garing is going to be fighting mostly the British for the whole game. I don't know that he comes in contact with the French at all, but, um, <clears throat> so we're just going to start out. Uh, let's put a sold out on our artillery. Ba -boom. Okay, um, that's major, okay. I'm going to move our troops away from the coast because there's no point in getting them killed for nothing. There's nobody coming to attack us, so, you know. Um, let's put down a, you know what, maybe we'll try that. Okay, move back. Okay, that'll kind of give us a cushion against them. So I'm actually going to cut out the intermittent intermittent uh, period where there are other fighting you're just watching, just because uh, I'm sure you've watched it before. And if you want to, you can just do it yourself. Okay, so it's our turn again. So uh, coming up here, they're going to move this artillery, and you're going to try and take this city. It just helps you get more supplies, and you know it's helpful. Uh, I guess not mandatory, but I would recommend it. Um, okay, so moving forward. Got some decent targets here. Pretty much gonna have the British out of this quick. That's at least the best strategy. Especially since you get their uh, city. That kinda gives you better supply demand. Um, let's see here. I might move these guys out of range of the ships. Just because the ships are irritating in that they, uh, you know, they attack your units while you don't even need to be defending the coast. So, I, I as I'd say, really recommend you don't uh, mess with them. Okay, let's see here. Guess I'm going to end the turn. Okay, it's our turn again. Uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's not actually true. He's just messing with it. Um. Okay, so... The French are pretty much defeated at this point, more, I mean, more or less. So we're just going to put out some industry here. And, uh, so we're going to move, we're going to probably put down a armored car and probably give him attack art. I don't think we really need defense art or defend art, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we got that city. Now that's crucial. Well, okay, I shouldn't say crucial, but it's important. So do it, because yeah, because you can, you know. Okay, ooh, there goes my ship. Well, that was kind of my fault. But basically, it's not really that important. The ship is, I mean, it's just a barrier to stop them from conquering, you know, I guess. Or uh, landing troops on the French coast, which would actually not be historically accurate. Anyway, so that's going to be the end of that this turn. Okay, we're back. It's our turn again. Um, yeah, yeah, the French retook this, and the Germans took it, so I kind of did that for nothing, but we're going to pay him back, and not out of spite, but just because we can. Um, we're going to go take that, and that, and that, okay, so that, for the, so there, let's do it that way, huh. anyway, um, uh, we're going to move these guys here, and there. Um, that's pretty much all we're going to do, I think, right now. Um, pretty much the French will be defeated. You might want to keep a unit down here for uh, in case they move troops out of here. If you leave a path, they actually move troops out, and you can retake their cities. Which So that, I recommend doing that. Um, right now, I think we're just going to move our tanks uh, back. So now we're going to pivot to defending the coast against British reinforcements. And at, the, at, one, at some point... We'll uh, airdrop troops onto the British mainland, 
preferably in concert with this attack, but it's actually already going on, so maybe next turn we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so that's the end of this turn. And our turn has come around again. So, you know, just kind of desultory fighting for now. Not much action. We don't, I don't know if we have enough uh, power to make an attack yet. Or airdrop, because we gotta, we're going to have to have supporting forces. So instead, I think we're just going to build up our industry to unprecedented heights. Or, and uh, just kind of wait it out for a little bit. Um, okay. Might move this guy here. and Kind of wipe out what remains of this British attack force. Whoa. <laughs> just totally wiped it out. Okay. That's nice. Feels good. Alrighty. So let's end that turn. And it's our turn again. So this is turn six, and we have eight more turns to win. And keep in mind that you will need a little bit, a couple turns after you make a landing to uh, assault, because you're going to have to assault Ireland. So, obviously, you're going to have to provide some time for that, or leave some time for that. Um, don't actually have enough troop, or don't actually have enough resources to attack, or make a successful attack this turn. So I'm just going to uh, try and build up. See, that's why you need to take Lions and Zurich, or Lion and Zurich. So yeah, I mean, if you can't, you can't, but it helps to have them. Extremely helpful, actually. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave this guy here because occasionally Amsterdam or Brussels comes open, and if that happens, it's super, it's super uh, helpful to take either one of them, because they're, they, I mean, let's see, Brussels has 37 and Amsterdam has 38, so, and they have the same uh, industrial production, but, so, okay, I guess that's the end of this turn, if only this guy would move off these cities, I could take him over, that would be helpful, but, anyway, okay, and our turn has rolled around again, I don't know if I, I feel like I should assault, but, or attack, make that airborne assault, but, See, it takes 200 to drop airborne forces and 100 industrial product. So, I mean, I have that, but then I wouldn't be able to support the troops with anything. And that's almost, that's pretty critical if you're going to do, if you want to have a successful attack. So, I might actually wait another turn. Um, she looks like oh, they've moved off a city. I'm going to take that over right away. Okay. <laughs> Attacking my ally, or well, sort of. Um, just a couple more improvements, and that'll have to be this turn. Actually, am I, oh, I wish I could keep that ship. If I could just keep it there, I'm pretty much free from uh, enemy assault. Oh, shoot, man. What, how did that happen? Well, we're going to have a tank landing up, coming up here, but <laughs> oh well. I'll, have, I'll be prepared for it. So... Won't really make much difference. Um, okay. So, I guess it's next turn. Okay, six turns till we have to win, I guess. <laughs> um, just gonna do a little desultory fighting there. Oh, we took Zurich. Now that's helpful. Very helpful. Don't underestimate the power of Zurich. And no, that's not a catchphrase. Um, maybe I'll put an airfield here. I'm not really in much better, much better of a position than last game, actually. So I might just wait. I, I feel like I should attack, but maybe I'll maybe I'll wait. You know what? That might be a better idea. Um, stick that guy there. Stick it to him, boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's mad. Okay. Oh, man. I, have, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Every time I take a city, he's mad. Okay. Ooh, this could be a time when they take uh, uh, Norway. So you're going to have to save just in case if that happens. If uh, he gets defeated and then there's guys going there. Because, I mean, they only have two units there. 
And in retrospect, retrospect, I probably wouldn't have taken this if I had known that. But oh well. Yeah. Well, it's done. It's done. So next turn. Okay, so we have five turns until we have to win a great victory. Um, we have our airfield up, and so this is going to be the turn when we actually attack, I believe. Um, if we're going to win, we're going to have to. I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to place the air assault north of the city, and then we're going to take that. And then we're going to maybe put down, let's see, what do we have here? We got an infantry unit. Okay, that'll be easy. We'll just take out, we'll put down a tank there. And attack. Uh, we'll see. Well, pro we probably should put down Defender. And it's not like we can buy anything else anyway. No, no, no. Not that. They're already preoccupied. So this is actually perfect because they're preoccupied with an invasion. Okay, we're going to move that. Let's see. Move that. Okay. There. Perfect. Now. Finish off some desultory fighting. I mean, that they're trying to invade me in 1940 or whatever okay so let me actually move this guy he's mad but you know what taking over sea territory means absolutely nothing okay it's like chill dude all right yeah okay oh, i feel like i should put a soul dart on there it's like a impulse but you know what never mind we're not gonna do that okay so that's the end of this turn Okay, so four turns toward, till this should be completed. I'm actually going to save here. You should do this too, just kind of as a precaution. Um, I probably should be more confident, but anyway. <laughs> uh, never good. It's always good to have it be able to reset. Mm, okay, we're going to move that guy there. Okay, probably put down another tank, although... Let's see here. Probably gonna move out, put a carrier here on this guy, and then just set him out to sea. I mean, I feel like I feel bad setting him out to dri adrift, but oh well, it's not gonna matter. And we are attacking, attacking. Now, if we can take London, that is gonna be the crushing blow. I mean, it's it's pretty hard for Britain to recover without London, so we're gonna take over that and that. And I almost feel like I should move, leave that there. But you know what? No, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> just desultory fighting. I'm searching for metals. Oh, there I got one. That's good. Um, okay, we're going to move. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to be in range no matter what we do. So, anti-aircraft. I should probably have put that up a long time ago. Details, details. Uh, shoot. Why can't they move off? Is it lion? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next turn. Okie dokie. Turn 11. So we have three turns till when we would need to win in order to win an ultimate victory. And that's what we're shooting for. Okay. I want to keep... Uh... Boing. There we go. So, let's see here. Determining strategy is always a mess. Okay, um, that airfield's not in range. So maybe I need to take the Kent Coast if I want to. I almost feel like I should just put an airborne unit in, or at least an airstrike, because this guy's in my way. And if I can take him, I can take over Dublin, and then I'll be able to easily win. Uh, should I do it? Should I do it? Um... Man, that is low. They are low. Man alive. What? That's what you get, I guess, when you have low power. Or I forgot to put on defense art. That's what it was. Um, okay. So now we're going to have easier access. Although I still feel like... Well, I, I can't do anything now, of course. But... Yeah. I'm probably going to have to airlift troops there, but that's okay. We can do that. Okay, and yeah, no, good. Well, they're going to land, but they'll get beat, so it's not going to matter. Ah, they're still online. Okay, come on. Anyway, next turn. Okay, turn 12. So we have two turns until we got to win. 
We're getting more down to the wire, unfortunately. But that's okay, I guess. Um, I may... Now that's extremely helpful. Oh boy, that's beautiful. Okay. So they'll probably land here or here, but that's okay because I'll have them out in that and easy, easily. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to replace Manchester with a, replace a, hang on, Manchester, okay. Dublin is taken. Start. All right. Probably should get all these guys under cover. Hey, you know what? I can put them under Inantes. Okay, that's good. There's the aircraft battery there. All righty. So, issue here, but, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. I may save, actually, just to be safe. Okay. Next turn. Okay, so it's turn 13. We've got one. We have this turn and next turn to complete the mission. I think it should be super easy now. I was a little worried, but no, we're good. Okay. So we have that. Probably going to need a little bit of a boost here. Dublin, if we're gonna take over Ireland in time, and I think we will. So it's not really any cause for concern. Okay, Ireland conquered. That's good. Okay. I don't think I gave this guy. No, I didn't give him the solar art, so he needs it. Okay. Let's see here. Just a couple. We may actually be able to win this turn. Hey, hey. Oh no, they had. Oh, well, okay. That'll be out in a good and easy in a jiffy. Next. Yeah, so I think this turn actually may be it. That's good. Okay. Just to make sure they... Oh. One time I had it where this guy landed, like, after turn 14. It's like, give me a break, man. It's terrible. Super irritating. Okay, so actually, yeah, it's going to take us till next turn anyway. But, um... Boom. Can't get a guy there. But he'll be out, so it won't matter. Um, we'll take over his Yeah, see he's mad. He's he's just kind of a irritating little guy. And I, I mean okay, I shouldn't call Gearing little because he's fat, but whatever. Okay, so that's pretty much the state of things. I assume Norway will be conquered or that territory will be reconquered by the Brit or the by my my Gearing, I should say. So, next turn. Yeah, so we're back. Back our turn again. Yeah, it's irritating. They still haven't conquered that territory. It's like, come on. They could have, but they didn't. So that's pretty much my mission. I, I mean, I've, I've, I washed my hands of this. They can't get anything done. Unless I can get a airfield and just, like, parachute troops in, but I probably can't. No, no. Shoot. Well, I, ho I just hope for our sake. They get it done. So actually, I'll let this play out. This be the last bit. Although, see, is there any British? I don't think that's... There's no more British troops left in the game. It's just this territory that's holding them out. So this would... This will be for... This is turn 14. And so in the flip... In the turn flip, when they get this, it'll be over. So... If they get it, they better. Oh, they better. I get to be so irritating if they... So you're irritated if they don't. Okay, it's over. Game over. British defeated. Perfect victory. Victory. Sweet victory. Okay. And... Oh, I actually got 17 medals. That's unusual. But, uh, yeah, it was round 14, so that was the only one. It was probably due to me having to wait to, for the British mainland to get cleared to troops. But, I mean, in any case, it should be easy enough to win. I mean... I say because while the infantry medal is helpful, you don't necessarily need it, and it's just it makes your troops stronger. But I don't. I mean, there's nothing in the campaign that really me, me, means makes you 
makes it oblig obligatory to have a, a good metal or a, a good general. But, so anyway, that's that video. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like below or a comment or subscribe.